Welcome to the 2011 St. Thomas Aquinas College News. This is our holiday special. I'm Ashley Fiden. Stack News is a student-produced news show filmed on our own Stack TV studio. I'm here with Kevin Phelan and our special fashion report with Ali Reed. Hey guys, it's time to go in your attic and dig up those old tacky Christmas sweaters because they are back in style. This sweater happens to be my grandma's from the 80s and it's never been more stylish than it is now. Shoulder pads and all these sweaters are all the fad this holiday season. Now Kevin's going to tell us about some strange holiday traditions. Hi guys, we're starting off this special Christmas edition of Stack News with a special report on the most bizarre Christmas traditions from around the world. If you're celebrating the holidays in Catalonia, your family may have a cagatillo, or poop log. A cagatillo is a hollowed-out log used by Catalonians to celebrate the holidays. They fill it with candies and presents and then hit it with a stick on Christmas until it poops out the presents. In Wales, some people celebrate the Mary Luid at Christmas time. This tradition involves putting a horse's skull on a stick and going door-to-door -door singing carols. Our final and most bizarre Christmas tradition comes from Austria, where they celebrate Krampus Night. Krampus is Santa's evil counterpart who beats and tortures children who are naughty. On every December 5th, people roam the streets of Austria in devilish masks to celebrate Krampus Night and scare people in the area. And now to tell you about another bizarre Christmas tradition, we're going to send it over to Ashley. Thanks, Kev. Well, keeping with the tradition stories, in most countries, the last ornament to be placed on the tree is the angel or the star. But in Germany, the last ornament to be placed in the tree is a huge green Christmas pickle. The, the pickle is usually blown glass, usually passed down from generation to generation. The pickle isn't just one of the tree decorations, it's actually part of a game. The pickle is hidden in the tree somewhere Christmas Eve, and the first child to find the giant pickle on Christmas morning gets a special gift, and good luck for the next year. So now, with that story, let's send it over to Candace and Lisa with a special report. Guys? What's up everyone, I'm Candace Rivera. And I'm Lisa Feliz, here with some holiday tips. We compiled a top 10 list on how to deal with your relatives on Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be about love, joy, and gift giving, but sometimes when our entire families are gathered together in one household, things can get a little chaotic. Let's start the countdown at number 10. Number 10, watch TV. Anything is better than listen to Aunt Gertrude blab on about her new brooch that she got from husband number three. Number nine, play video games. Call of Duty will definitely let off some steam when dealing with the little siblings that you can't slap upside the head. Number eight, bring your girlfriend or boyfriend. That way you have someone to talk to that puts you at ease. Someone you can vent to and spend the best holiday of the year with. It makes Christmas so much better when you're there with someone you love. Number seven, listen to your iPod. Perfect for tuning out annoying relatives. Also, it might be fun to see if any Christmas songs sync up with the arguments about who sits where at the table. Number six, stuff your face with food. Your relatives can't ask you about your awkward goth phase in high school if your face is stuffed with junk food. Number five, pretend that you are sick. Nobody wants to talk to someone who is going to barf up the eggnog. Number four, you can answer a question with a question. What does that mean? Well, let's say your aunt sees you and says, Hey, did you gain weight? I see you have a little Tommy. Instead of cursing out a family member, you just simply say, Um, did you gain weight? Or if someone asks you, Why don't you have a boyfriend? You say, Uh, why don't you have a boyfriend? Or number three, you can beat your family to the punch by holding up signs. Number two, play on your phone. Just be careful not to get caught because moms don't like phones at the dinner table and you'll likely end up getting hit with the wooden spoon. And the number one way to deal with your relatives on Christmas is alcohol, if you're of age, of course. Now, we're not talking about Lindsay Lohan wasted, just one or two glasses of wine to take the edge off a family function. <laughs> well, that's it for our top 10 list. I'm Candace Rivera. And I'm Lisa Felice. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for the tips, guys. I think I'll probably be taking uh, your advice on your number one tip this year for the holidays. <laughs> and now with a special report uh, with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, we're going to send it over to Jared the Elf. Jared? <sighs> Thanks, Kevin. Let me just say that when Santa signed this interview time, he didn't tell me how challenging this would be. Behind me, 
as you can see, is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, and to say that she's uncooperative is like saying Rosie O'Donnell loves Carville's Fudgy the Whale. It's obvious. But of course, I have come up with an idea, because I am smarter than a reindeer. Come here, Rudolph! You know you got some of the food, yeah? Yeah, you want some reindeer food? Yeah! Alright. So first question, uh, it's been a common misconception that Rudolph was a boy, but you're actually a girl. So what do you have to say about that? Okay, uh, what kind of training do you do to prepare yourself for a long journey on Christmas Eve? Hey. Um, have you ever feared that your nose won't work? I mean, <laughs> come December 24th, I mean, what measures do you take to make sure that you don't get sick? Uh, you are the most famous reindeer of all. But hasn't that caused you some negative uh, publicity from the other reindeer? Blitz, hey, stop me making me. Hey, stop it. Hey, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell Santa. Answer your question. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Any more like this, I'm gonna end up working for the freaking tooth fairy. Uh, so let me, I'll come back to you guys. Ashley, take it away. And uh, if I have anything else to report, I'll, I'll come back. Thanks, Jared. We wish you a lot of luck with that. She seems a little tricky to get, but um, so let's all hop on a sled and we can go with uh, Rudolph and we'll enjoy the bumps and the curves as we crash into a world that I personally love and it's all of our favorites, Lisa's world. She seems like she needs a little help though, so let's get over there, Lisa. Hello. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm here. Hey guys, sorry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Thanks, Ashley. So, Santa's making his list and he's checking it twice. And right now, we're going to reveal which celebrities have been naughty and not nice. But before I start naming, I know Santa was very unhappy with a handful of celebrities who cheat on their spouses, call people mean names, and treat rehab like a day spa. Number one on the list, Lindsay Lohan. Not to be surprised, Miss Lohan makes the list. Playboy isn't something that Santa likes to read by his fireplace while he's sipping his eggnog. Sorry, Lindsay. Santa will not be making any stops behind the barbed wire this year. Maybe next year. Number two is Arnold Schwarzenegger. For fathering his maid's child and hiding her and his son for 14 years. That's a lot of presents Santa missed for this kid. Sorry, Arnold, you won't be back on the nice list for a while. Santa and Mrs. Claus are very upset with number three. Being because they've been married for years and take marriage very seriously. You would never have Mr. Claus cheating on Mrs. Claus with like an elf or something. But Kim Kardashian, you have violated the rights of marriage and you got placed on the naughty list for the second time. First you were on for an inappropriate video that I'm not going to mention because we have children watching. But now, for a 72 day marriage, Kim, is it going to have to do with something serious in the community and help out a lot of kids if you want to get back on Santa's good side? Number four is Charlie Sheen. Do I even have to go there? Drugs, rehab, drugs again? His drunken rants about how he's winning? Well. You're not a winner in Santa's eyes because you have been put on Santa's naughty list indefinitely. I checked the list and couldn't even find you. But then I realized in deep down Santa's heart pocket, you were on the stupid list. By the way, you are the first ever to be put on this Who list. Who by the way? Sorry, Charlie. I don't know what to say. But Santa would like you to send a winning shirt. It's fairly in red. Santa's the only person who can have kids sit on his lap. And it's not creepy. Former Penn State coach Jerry Sandusky has taken this too far. And Santa has taken notice. Sandusky has been put on the top of the list. Sandusky better hope there isn't a chimney in his prison cell because Santa is most likely going to be bringing him a big bag of coal to beat him with. I'm sorry, but for all you kids out there, Johnny, Molly, Susie, Santa knows you've been peeing in the pool. 
And the other ones who have been picking their nose and doing other bad things, Santa is watching you, so you better stop. If you want to be on his naughty list and get gifts. If not, I'm sorry, nothing for you. Well, thanks for visiting my world, guys. Now back to you in the studio. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Lisa. Weather is a very important part of the holidays, don't you think? And so to, for a look at the weather this holiday season, we're going to send it over to, ah, so close. We're going to send it over to Hallie with the weather. Thanks, Kevin. Hi, I'm Allie Reap here with your local weather forecast. Today is an incredible day out here in New York with six inches of snow already and more than a foot expected. It seems Christmas really is on its way. This picture of Central Park was taken about five minutes, minutes ago and it's showing how it's really getting white out there. The snow's gonna last until Saturday evening, possibly Sunday morning, setting a record snowfall for this time of year. We're expected to get about two feet of snow or possibly more before the end of the weekend, so bundle up by the fire and get your hot cocoa ready for a long snowed in weekend. I know we're ready here at the studio. The temperature will remain between 25 and 30 degrees all weekend, so bundle up if you plan on heading into the snow. That's all your weather for today. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Now back to Kevin and Ashley. Thanks, Allie. Well, from all of us here at Stack, we'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So if everyone would like to come out. Here's the entire Stack TV news team. Prior. I give up. I give up. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. You should have just asked me. She told me everything you needed to know. <laughs> you do have the Silly. list. I do have the list. Well, from all of Merry us here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas, everybody. Merry everybody. Christmas. Happy, Happy holidays. These lovey dog. Happy Festivus. <laughs> oh, not yet. Happy Crumpus night. Go get that pickle. <laughs> Got fan stuff right here. <laughs>